when you experience a trauma, it's very normal to suffer from stress in the weeks, even to a month after that trauma. It's very normal to have anxiety and to have nightmares. Um, but most people get better over time. That's the adaptive response to a trauma. Whereas about 30% of people actually get worse over time. So what we think is happening is that most people are able to extinguish the memory of the trauma. And that doesn't mean they're forgetting it. They're not forgetting it. But it becomes less intrusive. It becomes less of a prevalent part of their lives. And that's normal and adaptive. Whereas people who have post-traumatic stress disorder are not as able to extinguish that traumatic memory. So um, the way this happens, we think naturally, is that when we'll take um, a combat veteran, for example, um, if they have a panic attack, when they come back to the United States after being in Iraq or Afghanistan, they might have a panic attack in response to the sound of a helicopter, for example. Um, and that would continue to get worse over time. And we think that uh, for the post-traumatic stress disorder patient, instead of learning, I'm safe, I'm on safe soil um, and I'm not in danger anymore, I don't have to take cover, instead of learning that, a post-traumatic stress disorder patient has a panic attack that grows worse, they just cannot extinguish it. So they have to go to therapy for that generally, um, and th the therapy is called exposure therapy. So with exposure therapy, a therapist will play the sound of a helicopter repeatedly until eventually the patient will learn that that sound is no longer a danger to them. Um, and we think that with vagus nerve stimulation, we might be able to help those people to extinguish faster. The reason we think this is because um, we know that people who have post-traumatic stress disorder show impaired vagal tone. So their responses, their vagal responses to stress are not like the responses that other people have, that, that people who can recover have. They're also impaired in their ability to extinguish in laboratory studies, for example, in controlled laboratory studies. And we think that the vagus nerve is helping most of us to extinguish these traumatic memories because we know that when we experience something stressful, whether it's a helicopter that is firing at us or a helicopter that's just flying above and no harm to us, if we have a stress response, the stress hormones are released from our adrenal glands down here and the stress hormones enter the bloodstream and that stress response contributes to the new consolidation of memories and we think it's doing that by stimulating receptors on the vagus nerve um, and we think that because if you stimulate the vagus nerve you can enhance memory and you promote a release of noradrenaline, which is a, a neurotransmitter all over the brain. And um, so we think that that's what we're doing when we stimulate the vagus nerve. We're basically helping people along who don't have the appropriate response to stressful situations in the, in the case of post-traumatic stress disorder.